End Times Warnings. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are not written in the Holy Scriptures, Word of God, settled in heaven. Only the gospel is. It, it's written in Mark 1 and 1, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Muhammad is not written in the Holy Scriptures, but Jesus Christ is written in the Quran. Islam is not written in the Holy Scriptures, but the Gospel is written in the Quran because the Gospel is the faith that we all must judge by. Surah 5, Ayat 47. And let the people of the Gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein, and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. This is because in all of creation, there is only one faith settled in heaven in the word of God. Psalms 119.89. And because Judaism, Christianity, and Islam is not written in the word of God settled in heaven, then they are not the one faith sent down to mankind from heaven. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the one faith in Ephesians 4-5. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. As the scriptures say in Philippians 1.27, only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. The end of the world will not come when Judaism is preached in all the world. The end of the world will not come when Christianity is preached in all the world. The end of the world will not come when Islam is preached in all the world. The end of the world will come when the gospel is preached in all the world. As the scriptures say in Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. What are y'all doing with those fake, phony faiths? Judaism. That ain't going to be preached in the end of the world. Christianity. That ain't going to be preached in the end of the world. Islam. That ain't going to be preached in the end of the world. So if it ain't that gospel, the one that's going to be preached at the end of the world, then it's of the death of. Hear the word of the Lord. And the angel from heaven will not preach Judaism, Christianity, or Islam. But the angel that will fly in the middle of heaven will have the everlasting gospel and preach it to them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people as it is written in Revelation 14 and 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. 
It is the gospel, which is the salvation of mankind, male and female, that seals mankind with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1.13. Christianity, they don't do that. Judaism don't do that. Islam don't do that. The Pope them don't even have the Holy Ghost. They don't even baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Judaism don't neither, and neither do Islam. Y'all wasted your time, and we're running out of time. It is the gospel which is peace. Romans 10, 15. It is the gospel that Jesus Christ, not Moses and not Muhammad, but that Jesus Christ preached. Mark 1.14, it is the gospel that even other religions tell mankind that they must judge by the gospel. Quran, Surah 5, Ayat 47, it is the gospel preached unto mankind with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. 1 Peter 1.12, it is the gospel which is the power of God unto salvation. Judaism ain't the power of God unto salvation. Christianity ain't the power of God unto salvation. Islam ain't the power of God unto salvation because if it was, it would be written in the book. Thank you, Jesus Christ. It is the gospel that folks did not obey that will receive flaming fire taking vengeance on them. 2 Thessalonians 1.8 it is the gospel that caused mankind to obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 2.14 It is the gospel which is manifested in our Savior Jesus Christ that hath abolished death and have life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timothy 1.10 it is the gospel of Jesus Christ that is the one faith preached by the one and only one that has the keys of hell and death. Mark 1 and 1, Revelation 1 18. We beg you all and everyone that dwells on earth and everyone made in the image of God male and female, Genesis 1, 27, to repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen. <laughs>